everybody, it's Billy and Inspector Tori in another Trick or Treats 2020 house. I'm on the Antonio Bell server, Massive Homes Creativity Reason number three, Raven Soul Sanctuary, DOT 20 by Oki, and um, the, that's me, in case I, I haven't said Billy Inspector aka Karina aka Oki enough. Um, so the owner is Murpa, M-U-R-R-P-A-U, -R -R and it is the Chromazek Keep on the South Freeport side. I did change to Freeport, right? Yep, okay. And uh, here we go. So before I even move um, and read the books, I just have to say that I haven't really had to video houses that I've decorated very often. Usually there's other people doing videos, so we share the responsibility and we make sure that we're not like doing a video tour of a house that we've done, but right now I think I'm the only one willing to do the videos, so, or available to do the videos or whatever, so it can be awkward. I'm just gonna put that out there. So I might give like insight on why I did stuff. She had like, she had the guild hall door right there, so I left it there. Um, and there was a book and it didn't move far moved here i had it here while i fin i was still finishing the house but i did the book and i said here and if you move that direction look i'm up to my waist kind of um you get stuck so i'm gonna jump up on the tile okay so this is the book that she left me or whoever was gonna decorate it um welcome to my house hello and welcome for my theme, I have chosen Sanctuary. Cricket chirped, chirped, chirped. Like, sanctuary? What kind of sanctuary? Okay, mostly you will have free hands, but there are a few things I would love in here. I would love an indoor peaceful garden, lots of plants, flowers, trees, and water to make it a place to get away, relax, and meditate. Meditate. Okay, I could do meditate. All right. Um, pray to the gods. Oh, okay. So, or the complete opposite. A place of darkness and despair, communicating with death and decay. Okay. Lots of rocks, dark colors, dead trees, that sort. But choice is yours. Um, I have closed off several rooms, but feel free to pull down walls if you feel up to decorating more than the two empty rooms. Um, I hope you have fun and I look forward to seeing the result. Smiley face, Murpa. Okay, so here's the book that I left. <laughs> Trick or Treat 2020 by Decorator. All right, why did I say by Decorator? Anyway, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> All right, Murpa. Well, 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 we meet again. Your first house swap and I get you. <laughs> first swap for me in about two years. Um, I hope you like this house. If you need me to change anything, let me know. This year is same as last time, up to the last second of the deadline. In fact, I went over time so I bet something is not lined up or shimmers or something some since this the house made me redo stuff a, a few times before it stuck into a into a spot um, I gave you a secret room you need to find a hidden teleporter no cheating to get to it um, love Oki smiley face aka Oka she likes to call me Oka so I'm surprised she didn't put that as the decorator name, but anyway. Bonus points, find the spider. Took her a bit. It took her until she wasn't looking for it. And then it like, she told me, I didn't find the spider yet. I'm like, it's in plain sight. And then I told her the area was in and she didn't go looking for it. She was showing some in the house. <laughs> she said to me, until, I found the spider. You're right, it was in plain sight. Okay, that's not exactly how she said it. I just pushed it. All right, 
I tried to make the worship room match your house I decorated. That house, um, she wanted like really dark and purple. Lots of purple. And for like um, an alchemist slash, I forget what she is, but it has, I forget. Um, I'd have to look it up. Actually, I can't. I think that tune's hidden. But anyway, because um, I was trying to figure out if it said the deity or not. But, um, so yeah, I made, made it kind of just this one room match. Uh, I should clarify. Um, you wanted lots of plants. So I tried to do something that is big in California living mall. It did not turn out the way I wanted at all. And I was already a day and a half over <laughs> since I was early. And I took, I'm like, okay, I'll be a little bit more elaborate with this room than I had planned. So, um, I, I don't know if it was her that I had a conversation with about this entry area where you can fall to your death because you're on this little path and it kind of is crooked and, and stuff. And she wanted lots of plants and I was thinking, okay, and water, I was thinking waterfalls and I was trying to figure out how to do stairs and how to do the plants and stuff. And then I saw warehouse's house that was this house. And I was gonna steal all of his ideas, but of course make it my own and I just, the waterfalls were hard enough. I, I spent like two days like going up, up, up in this place. I touched the ceiling by the way and I tried to figure out how low, low, low I could go and that sort of thing. And yeah, it it's just, it's crazy. So I got, I finally got one wall of waterfalls and I was gonna do two cause warehouse had two sides done. And then I'm like, I'm running behind and you know it, it's nice to have the water on one side but not the other um a little, like peaceful on one side and kind of hectic on the other so i left it i did put railings up so she wouldn't fall and it's really hard to get up on <coughs> here and, well this <coughs> character maybe <coughs> get up there no i can't so but you i was gonna do railings up top and i'm like no i'm gonna do a secret room and the plan was to jump down here and put a portal somewhere. So I will show you at the end what I did. Um, very end. I'll go into the secret room, come out, and then jump down and show you. So um, anyway, so I put in some trees. I was gonna do a, a bunch of plants and stuff, but I made, I made it a little more simple. So um, little garden areas here and here, little places to sit. I added some lighting to kind of highlight the plants a little bit. Um, the the, the um, lights that I wanted, they weren't on the broker anywhere. So I'm like, all right. So I used something, I used something that was more blue than purple. I reskinned this thing. I was gonna do like really thin living wall in here, but I'm like, no, that's just too much. And in fact, I thought maybe it's a little too much in this area. But anyway, I'll, let me turn here because the back room is not loading. Okay. All right. Um, and I, I'm losing it. That isn't even in the back room. It's in this room. All right. So I just made the whole thing a pool. I was going to do an aquarium. But then I decided, no, I'll just do a pool. Um, I don't know why I made that decision, but that was the decision I made. I kept changing the floor. So all the doors were blocked off except for this back door. So it was this room and the back room that she was talking about the two rooms. And, um, anyway, so I added some statues. Um, this pool was a nightmare. Actually, this whole house was a nightmare. It was haunted. It was, it was. So I couldn't get the tiles right so that they would, wouldn't would stick over this fence into the other area and back there. And then the same width. There's a little gap in between here, maybe. Yeah, just a tiny little gap. And I'm like, well, no one's going to notice that. But I'm telling you. But did you notice it until I pointed it out? No, not really. So that's <laughs> fine. I was going to do more with the water, but <sighs> then it's just too cold cluttered and that's not very relaxing and peaceful so 
But I put some uh, coral and stuff and plants and fish and bubbles and all of that in here. And I, I really love these waterfalls. And so I, or water fountains. So I put that there. And I decided to keep the theme outside, water on the same side, just a little bit. And then um, the other side, peaceful. And I added a little awesomer because he's my favorite little awesomer. And I gave him a stinky fish. Just because you can't really tell with school. Isn't he cute? I love that thing. I love him. Okay. So lots more fish. I put in some rocks because she said something about rocks. But, like, I didn't go rock crazy. I was going to put rocks outside um, in the entry. But, yeah, I... I changed my mind on that too. So, um, I was going to do something funny in here, but I didn't do funny. I can show you the other side of, uh, like I hid some stuff. Lots of grasses that move in aquariums and obviously now pools. I like plants that move a little bit. I mean, this one doesn't move, but this moves and, um, well, and I put this little guy here, the little kelp fiend dude. And I mean, like these move, this one's slow though. So it's kind of hard to tell, but this one doesn't move. But this is a top of a tree. I like tops of trees. Um, and yeah, top of a tree, they move. So anyway, um, I'll show you the walls in a minute. Um, I was gonna put a frog, but that he makes too much noise, so I just put a little, a little uh, dragonfly-like creature. I don't know what they're called. What is it called? It's not. It doesn't say what kind of animal it is, but anyway. Um, then I thought, well, I'll do something cool. I'll put a chest in the pool, and I have a pirate's hat here on top of a pile of gold, and then the genie bottle. You know. To, the genie thing to like get a genie to come out and give you three wishes kind of thing and some booze and some gems and gold yep I'm weird like that I thought it was cool but I gave her a pirate hat I don't know why um and uh anyway so I was going to show you something what was I going to show you well yeah the living wall so, I don't know if people have watched stuff about, you know, California housing and stuff. They have lots of living walls and stuff. So, um, I, you know, it's just a bunch of greenery and they do patterns and all kinds of stuff. And I did this and I'm, I was like really happy with this section. I wasn't going to put anything here because it's really, really tight to go around. And, oh, it's blocked. I didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to make that vine smaller, but she already published. Oh, well, you can jump on the pool and go around. I mean, it's fine. I wish you could go a long way around. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I didn't check to see if she could go the long way around. But anyway, um, I put the vines at, kind of at the last minute because I was going to leave it blank. But then I'm like, no, it needs something there. And I didn't realize I couldn't walk through those vines because some vines you can walk through. Anyway, so I did this section. I was really happy. I did this section too. This, these two rows. I was happy with that. Basically, I took this plant and I flipped it. So you see the roots of it where it's purple because she likes purple. And uh, I was happy. I was happy with these flowers. Then this middle section was too, too structured. And I wasn't happy with it at all. But I didn't have time to change it. I didn't want to be days and days over. And who knows, she might like it that way, I don't know. Uh, again, the vines, that was kind of near the end. Hopefully you can walk around this way. Yes. Okay, so then I w at the last minute I tackled this thing too. I was happy with this section. I, Cause it wasn't all just like in rows, I mixed, like I moved this one over, moved that one over, so it was a little, little different. I'm not happy with these guys. I, I don't know. Um, and then I'm like, well, I didn't, I was going to put mushrooms. I did mushrooms. I didn't like it 
It was the little mushrooms with all the little they're from the Easter egg. Um, I didn't like that, so I took down. Then I tried big mushrooms, and there wasn't room to sink them. And I didn't want to move all the other stuff that I had finished. So yeah, vines again. And uh, hopefully we can go around this way. If not, I'm gonna feel really bad. See, I can walk through that one, so I didn't take the other side. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, I added a bunch of sh shrubs and stuff to fill the wall. Uh, if I would have had like a month, I might have been happy. And then I was gonna do a bunch of the different coral, and then I decided on doing um, three different coral. And so this one's the purple one from Oceans this past summer. This one we can buy from Cobalt Scar. And then this one was from Oceans like two years ago, I think, a year ago. Um, yeah, so greenish, tealy, and purple. So then this room, this is the last like room besides putting finishing the living walls. And she wanted a sanctuary and a place to worship and stuff. So I put the um, statues there. I did the lighting. And of course, I was standing right here when I put the lighting in. And I'm like, baby, look at this lighting. And he made a comment. Close your ears if you don't want to hear it. I think he said that puts a, no, a whole new meaning to, um, what did he say? Oh, I, I, I can't remember exactly what he said. I'm not going to butcher it. So <laughs> it was not, not a pretty thing. Anyway, um, um, I tried the lighting several different ways and the lighting didn't work. No matter what I did, this section was highlighted, but then his face and stuff wasn't highlighted. So I, and he's, so I was hoping she wouldn't mind because everything else was glowing and I left it at that. And if not, she can laugh at me for the rest of my life. So um, once I knew that all of my plans did not work with what kind of purple tile I wanted, I was trying to use the new purpley tile and the violet marble tile or whatever. The violet marble one's fine. The other one, you cannot line up the cracks um, if you're hiding stuff in a wall that doesn't let you go very deep so then you gotta hide it under the existing tile it doesn't line up right and it was it just I tried the metal purple that's new too yeah too much purple so then I'm like well I was using these stained glasses how about black I know it's a dark color but it's very high contrast and it's more appealing so that's what I did and I discovered this in my bag. And I'm like, oh, there's purple on it. And I'm like, and you know, the windows have gray in them and it will kind of break up the black. So that's what I did. I made it kind of big though, um, cause I didn't want it too busy cause there's the lines and stuff. Anyway, so I put the deity stuff here, the goody or neutral ones. And then I started with just these three things of stained glass. And then I'm like, ooh, Look at that that's a cool thing so I did that and I can't believe I used these um, I couldn't really find I really wanted the pew that was like solid wood that was from um, uh, Phantom Sea there's this like cemetery with a, a dungeon and stuff and in that dungeon there's church pews and they're all wood and I asked for them but what we got was a met a met two metals like blue metal and rust metal or whatever copper metal so uh, yeah so I went with these benches not very relaxing but until they give me the wood pews I'm stuck so yeah so um I put the organ there and I, and I I'm like do I need to elevate this organ and my husband's like oh it'd be more dramatic I'm like I was afraid you're gonna say that that's what I was thinking so I elevated it. Um, I was going to see this thing. I was going to try and match this kind of flower thing, like the, the circles right here. And then I was going to have these offshoot 
the same way this does. But it wasn't working out for me, and I, and I was already over in time. So I'm like, oh, okay, I won't do that. People probably won't look up because I kept lowering the ceiling, putting it back up. Yeah, the things that all decorators do. I tried tiling this room like 50 times before it would take. This house is haunted. I said that, right? So I only put eight of these sconces down. And there's eight in the room. Two just magically appeared in this corner outside, like, oh, in this next room, next to the statue. Two of them on top of each other. Like, where did they come from? And, like, stuff would disappear and then later reappear and, like, all kinds of crazy stuff. I would, like, change the size and location and then I would, and, and like, I would go on to the next thing and then I look back. And it's in the original spot. Like, I never moved it. It didn't matter if I did it manually in here or if I used editor. It was just crazy stuff. That's why I went over. So, anyway. So, in her house that I did for her, I, you know, I used a lot of black marble. And then she had this one specific tile that I was supposed to use for everything in this job. Like, the walls and stuff. But I had the black marble. Um... But it was really hard to see because she wanted a really dark house. And I was using the seeking shadow, whatever thingies they're called. So I put, like, the stained glass as a trim to make it pop more so you can see where you're going. And so I'm like, I'll do that here, too. Don't read that yet. So anyway, um, we're set this altar in her evil sanctuary. Um, but then I moved it. So I had to pick <laughs> it just worked out better because of the black. I'm like, all right, I'm going to switch. So, anyway, um, I do something in the evil sanctuary, and I probably should have gone there first. Um, I did stuff with the tombstones. And so then, at the last minute, when I was, like, super tired, and I wasn't going to put house actors in here. Oh, why am I stuck? I'm just trying to run up the thing. It worked before. I added... A shadowy uh, house actor and notice when you put the armor on and stuff it actually glows so this is my face you see my arm and like I have a weapon and that's the, t the end of my weapon and just got stuff that glows so that's your belt anyway so if you don't want it just all black and you want to kind of see it put clothing and weapons on them until you find something that works okay so um I didn't, wasn't sure if anyone would even come up here, but look. So my the character says, Ocarina says, whoa, what happened? Last thing I remember was trying to place an organ. Hope I don't look like a pancake. <laughs> oh, it's a reference from when I used to play Battlefield and no one knows that. So it was just for me. <laughs> The pancake part. Anyway, I left. Yeah. I made it so you couldn't fall off. Um, but I wanted you to still be able to see the organ from down below. So I did the fencing on the one side. All right. So enough about that. I don't know. Do you guys like when I kind of talk about my, why I was using stuff and why I wasn't? Um, I don't know. Let's see, so yeah, this corner. And then I realized I had to fix this corner because somehow the tile shifted and it wasn't covering this corner. <laughs> so crazy. So that is in here. So I did a secret, secret room. And I had, I, I had it, un, I was gonna have it under the bridge and I was gonna have it in some other area. But then I'm like, how are they gonna get back up? She can't get back up from the water. I'm going to have to create, like, rock stairs. And I'm just like, no. Try putting a ladder and, like, it didn't reach. It was, too, it was too short. So what I did was, if I can crawl on this edge, other people can too. So here is the secret entrance. And she didn't find it. And here it is. I used one of those seeping shadow thingies. I also used the mount, the plague cloud mount, so that stuff would be coming out of the sewer grate. Um, 
I was gonna have water when it was down um, down below, but um, that didn't work out, and it didn't make sense to have water going down below, so I put this cloud there. And there should be frogs coming out. There goes a frog, and that's the main reason why I put it there, because frogs, I wanted to see frogs popping out of it. So here we go, um, to the evil sanctuary, here we go. And I did the evil one before I did the goody one. So, um, yeah. So I, I decided to do a graveyard. And she wanted, like, dead stuff. So I put, like, this isn't dead, but it's dark, and it looks like it's starting to die. I love these mushrooms. I added them later, and they turned out so cute. I like these mushrooms, but, but you know, they're scorch. So it was the first time I could legitimately use them, and I, I don't know, it's the cutest thing in this evil sanctuary. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, I got some burning, or smoking stuff, and burnt stuff, and I put the fence here, or the door here, because it's like, the gate, because it's, it's broken, and, you know, some, um, tombstones, I put, so, this is what I was referring to with my house actor. Seriously? Furniture placed on my head. So this is where Ocarina is buried. <laughs> and then, like, the next day I decided, oh, I should put a house actor. I don't panic. This crow is a safe crow. I love crows. Um, so this one's like, mine! She wouldn't let go of my shiny! She stabbed me. <laughs> anyway, I had this set before. Um, freak tile flip accident, or tile tipping accident. Um, I pretty much became friends with Murfa because she wanted me to flip some tiles. <laughs> so yeah, I'm the tile flipper. And she's not the only one that's asked me to do that. I've had lots of people ask, can you just flip this tile for me so they line up when I place them? <laughs> yes, I can do that. Um, so here's some statues, uh, a log, I put the new creepy crawly under there. It's, he's hard to see, so I figured it would be okay. Um, I don't really like bugs, but I, I hit him there, kind of. So I did, did, um, the wall, I was gonna put a wall right here, but it wasn't turning out, so, um, I just let you go down it, and, uh. I just put this in, in your way so you would kind of like not want to go down here and that, that dead Frostfeld tree stops you from going behind there as well. I mean, there's no reason why you can't go behind there. I just blocked it off. So the spider, there it is. Plain sight. Cause you see that window when you're trying to get in the door cause it opens that way. You know what I mean? So <laughs> anyway. But I figured it would be hard to see because most people don't think to like flip them like that and have them at an angle on something, you know. I like putting things in trees and on trees and anyway. So here is the evil place. I really like the 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 tile look on this um, stage. I put it as the roof as well, but I don't really like the roof. But, you know, I was already running low on time. So, to save time and everything, and it is dark and stuff, um, I use that. And, oh, and I put bats on the moon. Did I show you that? I like dark skies like this. So, I've done a, I did it in the last um, TOT 20, or, well, not 20, it was 17, I think, that I did it. Um, so, three years later. And I really liked it, so. So, um, I was gonna go for purple in here, but then I couldn't really find purple windows. I, I could've put stained glass in, I guess, but I really like this tapestry, and I was gonna use the back of it, because it looked like blood spilled, but I couldn't figure out how to do that, because I wasn't sure what color walls and stuff. Anyway, um, so I ended up saying, okay, well, why have a purple table there if um, you went red? And I really liked these, the skeleton hands, and it's a red fireball, so it, it went with the windows and the theme, and 
tried to put a, um, a skull head in there. It didn't look right, so I took it out. There's a skull on these benches. Um, anyway, so I've got all the evil TNT altars. There's way less than the other because there's no neutral in here. And uh, then I um, I covered up this this podium book because it was pink and put the Night of the Dead one that gives off the green stuff. And then I put these super, you know, creepy books. I really like them. And then I decided, ooh, you know, a sacrifice and stuff because I was going to do some sort of sacrifice on the purple one. So I got this weapon, display weapon thing off of marketplace and then I added blood in the form you know these petals are blood basically to say that like someone got sacrificed so anyway um that is it for the areas except for going down below should we talk about that so um so yeah I can't get through here because of that tree so secret entrance and then we can go back. I'm just going to jump down here. So, boom. Oh, it didn't make me make a noise. All right. So, I added sharks and fish. And, like, these schools, if you put them in an aquarium, they will go through the walls and stuff. If there's not a big enough space for them. That's my only pet peeve with them. Like, it would be nice to set the height so that they don't go, or, or, or the width, or both. So that they don't go out of bounds. But um, this place was perfect. Um, and then uh, I added a turtle, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, the blue octopus that I feed back a zillion times and they gave me. <laughs> uh, I love this thing. I didn't realize until um, doing this. Uh, event putting him here that he actually has pet options but he's a plushie so there's a cactus on marketplace that is a plushie but also has pet options now I used to have a rule um i used to tell tell lyra don't put plushies in with pets pets are you can set their name and stuff and you can do stuff to them plushies just sit there so i have two categories please because i want to find all the plushies not the pets and then that broke my rule. Because you can do stuff to this in the cactus. <laughs> I got another octopus down there. Oh, and dang it. Um, so I can't get to the other side. I forget. Originally, the plan was to have the water low enough so I could go under the bridge. And the bridge was going to stop up here. And, you know, you could creep under it. But... In order to keep my sanity with doing that bridge, I ended up just like cheating and sinking walls really deep. So there's some walls that go pretty deep in here. So I just covered them up basically. So you can't go under the bridge. So that nixed that. Then I tried to have the secret entrance here and then I had the water spewing into the, the water down below, but that didn't work because it can't get back up. If you evac, it takes you out of this house can only evac in, in guild halls and be put at the door. I don't get why. So I can exit out and you don't have to watch this whole thing. You could exit. I mean, it's just showing you more creatures that I put in there. I probably should have done it from the top, but I didn't think about that. So my bad. So I'll just quick go back in and hopefully it won't take forever to zone because I've already zoned here once. Yeah, it's zoning pretty fast. So, um, yeah, I'll zoom out here. I did have, like, stuff here before, but I thought it was so cluttered. And I was gonna have, it's more awe inspiring to see the top. Then I'm like, you know what? Those sets are ugly. So I put in some cute ones. Alright. So I did not hide anything back here. I'm sure she looked back here for the spider, though. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you can see, I'm going to jump down, so I put another one of these guys because I love them so much, and then more big fishies, another octopus, because why not, more fishies here, Oop, it's going through the wall, I did not notice it through that, did it, um, some more fishies, I think 
for these little ones that were free and because they glow and it's easier to see. And I got that fishy and then another shark and then that's it. So, um, I couldn't always, uh, put the, the, um, tile right up into the wall and stuff. Some walls picky. Like, I could put it in here, but not right here. And I, I'm like, I'm not going to cover up the little, little spot. I think I can fall through. I'm not sure. But I realized I didn't put the breakout coordinates on the forums. So when I get a chance, I have a list of, I'm doing two events right now. There's only 10 houses for this event. So I'm almost done. And then there's the Frostville neighborhood thing that ended the two days after this event. Um, and there's, I, I don't know how many, ha I mean, there's multiple decorators all in one house, but I'm not sure how many total there are. Um, so anyway, uh, I also have a list. People were advertising that they published a house, come visit thing. So I just started making a list because I was running out of um, places to tour when I was doing the Extra Life. And so there's six six houses that I have to go to. Plus I have to fix a couple things on the database. So you can f go down a little ways. Um, but believe me, I kept doing that over and over and over because I would run and get something and then want to go, go back up and then want to go down. and so you, So you can break out somewhat down below um but not all the way and i will have those coordinates in that video um if you notice there's like a little ledge here you could jump off that uh original pathway and if you jump onto these ledges you know if you do it just right you you will land on them you won't die yet it's a little bit further down that so watch. Um, I might even be able to hit it this way. Oh, nope. There's a ledge. There is a ledge. I don't know which ledge is now. I guess that ledge doesn't work. Um, maybe it was over here. There was a ledge that I was able to, to jump onto. What the heck? Alright. So, what ledge was it? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I do the, the um, breakout video. I'll re- point myself with the points and stuff. So that is everything. Thanks for watching. I don't know if you like me doing that or not to this house. Um, if not, I hope you muted me. <laughs> Obviously not because you're still listening to me. Thanks for watching everybody and see you in the next house.